what's up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is abby and today i'm showing you how i went from this to eventually getting to this and then this it's a story girl so let's get right into it about six months ago i decided to dye my hair red and it was beautiful for the six months that i had it but the maintenance is out of control so i decided i wanted to go ahead and dye my hair into this soft auburn color I'm using the L'Oreal High Color Line, and this is in the color H5, which is supposed to be a soft auburn. I took two packets of this, and I mixed it with the 20 developer from Ion, and I thought this was going to be an amazing process because the lady at Sally Beauty told me this is what I needed to do. Now, granted, I am no expert. I don't do hair for a living. I just do my hair, and I trust myself to experiment. I've also been doing my own hair for the past couple of months with retouching the red, so I felt pretty confident in what I was doing, and I've learned that a 10 developer pretty much does nothing. A 20 developer will give you a good application for the color. It won't necessarily lift any color from your natural strands, but it will apply the color that you're trying to put. And then your 30s and 40s are more of your developers that would bring about more lightness into your hair. A whole ramble and shamble, but I've learned that in the process. So when I questioned the lady about using a 20 developer with this color, she told me it was fine. I trusted her because she works at Sally Beauty, right? So let me follow along with the lady that works at Sally Beauty because this is what she do for a living. Here I am all excited about putting this color in my hair. I put on my little cap, you know, I left it in for about 20 minutes and look what I ended up with. I felt like nothing changed in my hair. You can see the lightness in my roots a little bit, but the red went nowhere. And this is where I learned that red hair color is like your toxic ex. It doesn't go away, and the moment that it does go away is because it's been months of you trying something new before it actually decides like, okay, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, that's what I came to terms with. I also learned after a quick Google search that the L'Oreal High Color Line works better with 30 and 40 developers, so it makes sense that this dang 20 developer did basically nothing to my hair. So guess what I did? I took my behind back to Sally Beauty. Instead of getting the L'Oreal High Color in H5 again, I decided to go with H6, which is a light auburn, and I got a 40 developer, but this time I got the L'Oreal developer because I'm like, okay, maybe you just don't work with other branded developers, so I'll just get your own brand and try again. So I did this process again. Side note, I don't suggest that you dye your hair twice in one day. It's just not a good thing for your hair. I was willing to take that risk, but don't say Abby told you to do it if you decide to do it, okay? That 40 developer is no joke. I know y'all see me squinting, my eyes were struggling, but eventually I was able to get it and I left it in for about 30 to 35 minutes. And when I washed it out, this is what I got. I was still disappointed because it wasn't a soft auburn. If you see before, we had this, and then after I was able to get more of a consistent color all over the place, but the red still wasn't going anywhere. It was still better than what I initially started with, so I decided, you know what, oh well. All in all, it was a process. I know now what I need to do better next time. I'm not dyeing my hair red again. And the moral of the story here is never to trust the lady at the Sally Beauty because she don't know what she's talking about. She don't.